Today we'll first look at a sterile tiger milsa, sent in all the way from Sweden. The next piece is a project I recently finished and have really enjoyed wearing. Both watches run off a reliable automatic Miyota movement. The dial of the Milsup was aged with gold and brown markers with lightly faded sword hands. The next step was to ensure the case was water resistant before fading the insert and lighting up the dial a bit. The case was left submerged in water over the night. And the next morning, a nice summer rain was added to the mix. The case, along with a few others, were left outdoors to fade in the sunlight. But due to the amount of clouds, the process took longer than expected. And on the back, we have the polished, screw down case back. And once it's all put together again, we have a nicely aged mill sub diver with a faded insert and aged dial, ready to be shipped home to be enjoyed by its owner. And just like the next piece, it's not overdone, but still clutching on plenty of vintage charm. And now for the next diver. First thing I did was replace the stock dome crystal with a tall plexi with a magnifier at the three position. It does add substantial height to the watch. and even the date wheel was aged to match the color of the markers. We have cream colored markers on a slightly faded black dial while the hands take on a rustic brown appearance. And of course, let's not forget the faded denim colored insert. This watch has really been a treat to wear and is now available in the shop. So that concludes the two exquisite aged divers that I presented to you today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.